Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you fellow travelers episode 1. Episode 1 begins in 1986, with a party for Hawkins Fuller and his wife Lucy. In the middle of the event, Marcus, a man from Hawk's past, shows up with a package. It's from Tim, Hawk's former lover, who is settling his affairs as he battles AIDS, but he doesn't want to speak to Hawk. Hawk later opens the box to reveal a DC paperweight. Momentarily, Hawk drifts back to their first meeting in 1952. The two men lock eyes at an election night party in 1952, celebrating Eisenhower's win. Hawk kindly offers to grab Tim a drink. Tim orders a glass of milk, and Hawk smiles at him. Later Hawk leaves the election party to cruise at a local men's room. After they have sex, Hawk immediately leaves, because any romantic entanglement only makes the separation of his private and public lives all the more difficult. Hawk and Tim run into each other again at the park, where they discuss dreams and politics. The idealistic, deeply religious Tim wants to fight the good against communism. Hawk helps Tim get a job with his hero, Senator Joseph McCarthy. In exchange, Hawk wants Tim to keep him informed about what he's asked to research. The two men begin a passionate, sexual affair behind closed doors. But Tim soon becomes frustrated that Hawk never shares about himself. When Tim asks him a string of questions, Hawk erupts in anger. He doesn't like being put on trial, and unlike Tim, he doesn't believe in God. Meanwhile, another politician comes to Hawk because he was spotted at a queer establishment and now needs to give over a name to spare himself. After Hawk runs into Eddie, a man he had anonymous sex with, at the State Department, he pretends not to know him, then gives his name to his politician friend. Tim shows up at Hawk's apartment unannounced to discuss something about a developing executive order he overheard in McCarthy's office. Tim sits on Hawk's lap and seduces him with information. When Hawk attempts to kick Tim out so he can get ready for a party his boss is throwing, Tim insists on accompanying him. Tim and Hawkins attending the party together, before grabbing a nightcap at an underground gay bar. Despite Marcus warning that he and Hawk both prefer sex without emotional engagements, Tim can't help pressing Hawk about what they are. He doesn't care if what he and Hawk are doing is a sin, but the one thing he can't live with is if Hawk is going to marry Senator Smith's daughter Lucy. Hawk reminds him that all this can ever be between them is fun. Tim says he's not ashamed to feel things and calls Hawk a coward before storming off. At church, Tim prays and confesses to the father that he felt pure when he committed this sin. Meanwhile, Hawk's plan backfires, Eddie tries to kill himself, prompting Hawk to leave an envelope of cash at his residence. And the executive order is expanding security investigations to all branches of government to search out sexual deviants, which could be very bad news for Hawk, since his secretary took a peek at the book inscription Tim left for Hawk after he got him the job. Later Hawk shows up at Tim's place and confides about his first lover, who picked up that DC paperweight during a senior trip, after which Hawk pushed him away. Tim admits that he's afraid of Hawk and asks him what he should do. Hawk instructs Tim to go inside and lock the door behind him. Upstairs in Tim's room, the pair simply hug. Back to 1986, Lucy is well aware where Hawk is going and why. He reassures his wife she is everything to him, to which she replies if that was true then Hawk would not have left. Hawk later calls Tim from a phone at a San Francisco diner and says he wants to see him. Hawk's explaining that he'll wait for his call at the diner as long as it takes when Tim abruptly hangs up on him without saying a word. Hawk sits at a booth until the place is nearly empty, watching men openly embrace on the street outside. Hawk is going to leave, but then the phone rings. Fellow Traveler shows a lot of promise in its first episode. I think I have found a romantic drama that keeps me hooked. Matt Bomer and Jonathan Bailey are excellent in their roles. They have great chemistry. Every time the two of them gaze into each other's eyes, I can feel the sexual tension there. Both actors understand how to display real, effective passion, and it only makes the events that follow all the more steamy. I can't believe they gave us such a passionate sex scene in the first episode. I like how the writers have made sure that the show is not only about the romance brewing between Tim and Hawk, but they create an environment through which we get to know what was happening on the political landscape and how it had an impact on their relationship. Not only that, they succeeded in showing how gay men must be careful living in society during that time. They managed to show a beautiful love story amidst all the tension, resistance and hatred. I can't deny that the show has made a solid start. 
Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.